Hi there, and welcome to Soul Forge Friday Week 8. I'm Marshall with Steam Game Fans. Uh, this week is our Utera highlight, where we're going to just play an all Utera deck. And this will be our last computer opponent, so let's get right into it. So the first card we're looking at is the Shard Plate Mutant. Uh, it makes us discard down to two cards randomly at the beginning of our each turn if he's out. So it's an iffy one. We'll see how he plays. Uh, Echo Wisp puts a copy of itself into an adjacent space in the first two levels, and then each of your available spaces at its third level. Uh, the Root Forged Avatar is like the other avatars. For each card of the faction in your hand, when you play it, you get beef. Uh, the Phyto Bomb puts a one attack, one health seedling into each available space. Uh, this includes our opponent's spaces, then three, including our opponent's spaces, and then a 5-5 five, five in each of our spaces only. So it's an interesting card. Some things you can do with that. We'll play around with filling up our lanes. Um, let's see what we've got here at the Mossbeard Patriarch. This thing will heal other creatures for, you know, large amounts of damage. So it's interesting to play. Lifeblood Dryad, we've played before, but every time we put it in when we've got all five of our lanes full, it gives beef to everything. Uh, Ferocious War gives beef to everything, makes them all bigger with attack and power. Cultivate, we could replace a target seedling, sapling, or tree folk with a 7-7, seven, seven, then 14-14, 14, 14, then 21-21 21, 21 at level 3, so that really is a great card. Uh, let's see here. Botanimate, <coughs> uh, we replace a level 1 creature with a 3-3 three, three, uh, sapling or a level 2 or 3 or lower at uh, the higher two levels. So we can replace anything with a 3-3 three, three, which is very manageable. Um, the Wildwood Sower, when we play a spell we put a sapling either a 1-1, one, 3-3 one, three, three, or 5-5 five, five in so that's great. The Spring Dryad, whenever a creature enters including those saplings it gets bigger so that's a, a neat interaction between those cards. Then we have Primal Surge um, Primal Surge is a free card. Uh, it What it does is the first one gives 1-1 one, one and you play it. After that it's free for 2-2 two, two, and 3-3. Three, three. So it can be a game changer at times. The Savant gives us 3 health and 3 attack or 5 health and 5 attack at its later levels to other creatures. Grove Matriarch, when it dies you put a 1-1 one, one, one seedling in its split space. And so that works with you know all the other cards we have that deal with seedlings. Grove Huntress gives a little bit of beef to another creature when it comes into play. So, let's see how it plays. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started here. The idea is we want to fill up our lanes. Um, <coughs> it's tempting here to play this Shard Plate Mystic uh, or Mutant and then only have two cards from there, but that seems like gambling. Let's go ahead and get the Echo Wisp out and have two of those since we only get one play on the start. We'll end our turn and see what our last computer opponent has here. This is our last computer opponent. After this, we're going to be playing uh, other human beings primarily. So, All right, we've got the Echo Wisps and the Wildwood Sower out. And we went ahead and played a spell which gave us that 1-1 seedling and made our Echo Wisps a little larger, getting a little bit more value out of them. So now we've got an option. We can use that Cultivate to create a 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to play our Spring Dryad, which gets bigger over time as creatures come out, as a matter of fact. And then we're going to attack, getting that extra one damage from the seedling, then play the Cultivate. You always want to attack with a creature that is uncontested at the time. Then we get another seedling from the Cultivate. So there's some substantial synergy happening there. Okay, so we're at 94 to 100%, but our lanes are filling up, and that's what this deck wants to do, is fill the lanes so that when we drop a Lifeblood Dryad, it gives everything some beef, or we can play a Ferocious Roar, making everything larger. Alright, so we're going to play that Root Forge Avatar, and then we're going to give everyone a nice big Ferocious Roar, uh, and that's going to be a pretty substantial amount of damage. Let's see here. Okay, now at this point what we're going to go ahead and do is turn one of his creatures, probably this defender that's an 8-8, into a 3-3 with Botanimate. Uh, 
killing it, you know, much easier and taking less damage with our root forged avatar. But first, we'll play the lifeblood dryad, giving everyone that beef. That is the point of the deck. So there we go. Now we've got all five lanes to his one three three zombie. We've got substantial uh, win percentage here, twenty seven to ninety six. So the deck's working. It works quickly, like Uterra deck should. Um, Lots of quick, big damage and uh, filling the lanes and giving creatures more uh, power and toughness seems great to me. So, great win. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks for coming by. And next week we'll have a new live opponent. So, once again, thank you very much for coming by to Steam Game fans and checking out Soul Forge Friday. Uh, have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.